and straight away. Yes. And German wow. Blackwood diving away to his left. What a start. This is perfect from Blackwood. And good work from Kimaroj. Edge and gone. Another one for the West Indies and another one for that man, Kima Roach. Yeah, the first day is said to be challenging. And Kima Roach is asking all sorts of questions from these Pakistan batting lineup. This is well done, well executed. And again, stifle appeal, unmove the umpire. Maybe a review? Yes. Brathwaite goes for it. Ultra edge coming up. Keep rolling. Yes, there's a spike yeah. as the ball is next to the bat. Can I go back to the on-field umpire? Greg, you'll have to change your not out decision. You're on screen. Change to out. Defensively played. No risk on that occasion. Baba Zam picks up four. Smashed away, short and loose. And Baba Azam wouldn't miss out. Ends the over with a boundary. 17 for three. Nice firm push from Baba Azam. Does it have enough to go all the way? Yes, it does. So another boundary for the Pakistan captain. And again, this time much squarer for Baba Azam, but same result. Consecutive boundaries to welcome Alzari Joseph. Quickly goes down to the final leg boundary for four. So another loose delivery from Alzari Joseph and punished. Well, this is just what he's been waiting for. Four runs. Good delivery from Alzari Joseph. 38 for three. It's a top class shot. The wrist work was sublime. Finds the gap inadvertently. And brings up the 50 partnership in between these two. Baba Azam Fawar Alam. Neatly worked away. And chase on for Kima Roach doesn't get there. The ball wins the race. And another boundary for Baba Azam. Nudged away for a single to end the over 62 for three Pakistan at this stage 62 for three and umpire Joel Wilson belatedly flicks the bales off to call time on day one of the second test match West Indies of course lead the series 1-0 in Pakistan at one stage three for two we will go to lunch at 62 for three. Went for it, executed it brilliantly. A dazzling shot to end the over 66 for three. <laughs> Defensive play with an angle bat will produce four. And this is now the 11th boundary in this partnership. Moves now to 78. Whipped away with Baba Azam class and style. He's growing in stature in this innings. Moves to 45 now. Beautiful adjustment. Brings up his 50 back-to-back -back, uh, half centuries for Baba Azam. A class knock 
And from a class player. Gotcha. Nice from Fawad Alam. No pulling that back. Joseph himself has to retrieve it. 100 comes up for Pakistan. Hey. Top class shot again from Babar Azam. We're seeing the best of him in this innings. Should have stopped it. Really should have. Another boundary to Pakistan. Well, that was just too short. And even though it was outside off stump, that's room for Fawad to hit it through the onside. And that one is dispatched as well. 50 comes up for Fawad, and it's been a good one. It's been painstaking. He's just played in his strong areas. He's been patient. And he's helped to build this partnership with Babar Azam. Finds the outside edge, doesn't produce an opportunity for a wicket. You can see the frustration on his face. Four more to Fawad Alam. This guy is supreme when it comes to driving the ball. Baba Azam. Yet again showing his class, ending the over with a boundary. 136 for three. And the silver is cramping up. Yeah, it really shows that outside there is a really tough. Reserve keeper on. A most amazing passage of play. All of that for one ball. And now we will have tea, as you heard from the umpires. But a session that belongs to Pakistan. Three for two within that first half an hour of the morning session. But this partnership, 143 between Babarazam, the captain, and Fawad Alam. Well, that goes into the boundary now and brings up the 150 for Pakistan. Short and wide, and we've seen what Babarazam does. And uh, short and wide again, and put away. Yeah, we saw a couple of these in the last over from Carl Mears. Too easy. And we'll have a new batsman, Mohammed Rizwan, who will be making his way onto the field. It might not be the way that the West Indies would have wanted to get a new batsman out in the middle, but they'll take it. Oh, that's a brilliant snaffle. Holder thinks he has his man. Absolutely superb from Roach and Holder. No fault of Babarazam there. I think the umpires may just want to get together and find out if it's carried. Keep rolling, fingers under the ball, think balls collected. Yes. Keep rolling with that. Keep rolling with that. Keep rolling. Okay, you have complete control over it. I'm satisfied with that. My decision for the big screen is out. That's very good. Close enough to him. Nice punch to end the over. 172 for four. Yeah. Yeah. Just opened the blade on that one for him, Ashraf. Was an over pitch delivery by Kima Roach. That's a terrific shot. Just the movement of his body and stroke into the ball. And gracefully along the ground. 188 for four. Yes. 
That'll be four. I really want them to fill up that gap. Honestly, I, I take the chance towards the back end of the day and get someone else in there. I wonder if Brathwaite had decided he was going to go back to a seamer, but the light has become... dangerous or not good enough to continue play. We've just had it confirmed West Indies wanted to go back to their fast bowlers and the umpire said no, we'll have to resume tomorrow, Stacey Ann. A hot day, very warm. Pakistan with three for two, three wickets for two and have recovered wonderfully well to 212 for four. Fawad Alam, retired a hurt, still available to come tomorrow on 76. Baba Azam played very, very well. No fault of his, he got a good one. 212 for four. Yeah, Kima Roach stood out during this session, during this day's play with his three for 70, three for 49. Jaden Seals picking up one. All the other bowlers really stuck in, really dug in. But unfortunately, no wickets to them in today's play. Partnership of 158 between Baba Azam and Fawad Alam really dug Pakistan out of a hole at three wickets for two runs in the fourth over. That partnership was really composed, really mature, and tremendous responsibility shown between two senior Pakistani batsmen. Exactly what they needed at that time. And Fawad Alam, of course, had to retire hurt due to heat exhaustion. And Baba Azam fell soon after. But all in all, a pleasing day for Pakistan with the bat, especially given the treacherous start early on the first day after having been sent into bat by the West Indies captain Craig Brathwaite upon winning the toss.